Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to yet another episode of Expert Talk series on product management of ISBR Business School. Today with us, we have Akilesh Kambale. He is a pass out of NIT Karnataka. He has worked as a grade A officer in the Indian Oil Corporation. He has worked in the product line at Worth Finance and is currently working in Mavenir. He is a quick learner of, of new technologies. We welcome you, Akilesh. Yeah, hi, Benav. Nice to be here. Yeah. So, um, uh, so uh, you know, uh, so to start with, uh, what good your interest in product management? Uh, see, first of all, it was most like a, like in my final year, right? So I just started off with say like understanding economics. Like I've been a BTEC like engineering student at that time. If they asked me like MBA or business thing were like last thinking for me. I thought okay, I'm more of a tech guy and all that. But uh, as I started exploring finance, right, there is always some cause and some effect, right? So similarly, even in like product, like it's more about like people psychology, like how the people are interacting with the product, how one small change, you know, like Instagram, when they wanted to introduce reels, right? They change the search button with reels button because we go most of the times there, right? So that they can increase the click through rate and all this stuff. So then even like uh, why phone pay is more used, phone pay has a better than Google pay, all the phone pay came backward. The UX is more like Indian, other like, and Google Pay is more like a Western design. So these are like small, small things actually, which got me interested. And I was also from metallurgy, and Sundar Pichai was also from metallurgy. Call it a coincidence, something he also started with PM at Google. So yeah, that was like, I was also like deep into material science and all that, but somehow this thing started catching up to me, like on a, things which we observe in our day to day life. Right, that's that's great. So, uh, you know, so now as you are into the product line, uh, what is the best thing about being in this line? You know, uh, what do you like, uh, you know, doing uh, like, you know, as you being in the product line? So the first first thing that I like about is that I actually get I have a say in how the product is going to go to user like, uh, you know, see like there is technology and there is human being. So but what joins them together is I say PM joins this brings this to things together actually because uh, you are the touch point on the analysis and you are the same guy who is telling the tech guy okay this is the requirement that you need to build okay a normal person cannot tell that he like, can just come, cannot come and tell that like that or you are the guy who is also heading the you know the leading how the product will go which which segment to target what are people thinking now what's going on currently in the world uh, you know like uh, you how Zomato does advertising right like uh, it just keeps pop-ups based on occasions so these are the things like you can drive the product uh, and you even your small change can make a big difference so uh, that's uh, so that's what I like my doing so currently like uh, for World Day Finance it's like a investment research website and now you know right, like all millennials and many of them like jumped off due to COVID and all that but there's a lot of you know social media like sometimes even wrong message goes viral like that so what I like about this I'm working on something like reducing this noise but at the same time keeping that social feature in the investing so like I am designing what like you know like uh, how like you have WhatsApp groups right? So similarly you can create groups on our platforms, uh, share each other's trades or some some stuff like that. So these are the things that I am actually writing down. We are discussing how to go about it. So I like that. Like yeah. Okay, that's that's great. So uh, so as you said that you know a, you know a product mm -hmm. manager or somebody in the product mm -hmm. line has a lot of power in changing mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, something in the product to make it better for the customers. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know so what is your favorite product in the market right now, and how would you make it better? Okay, so uh, it might sound very obvious. Okay, like or like some client not cliche. So you know this concept of super apps, right? Uh, like uh, WeChat, Alipay in China, then there are like lot of like uh, Momo in uh, Southeast Asia or Gojek and all that. Okay, so like super apps are nothing like, but there are like mini app programs. Like they have like uh, mini apps embedded inside them. If you want to shop, use that other mini app in the same platform. So even now, recently, just it was two days back in the news, like Tata super app is coming up, right? Tata New, they call. So, and even like Google Pay and phone pay are also like kind of a super app, like they are bringing other things into it. But my favorite one I would say is WhatsApp because the kind of penetration that WhatsApp has in India, the reach it has, even a normal person uses, I believe it. Ha and you know, gradually we are introducing new, new features without you even realizing it. 
now you like the payment uh, they had introduced right so payment button was a bit hidden so now they are putting it in the message bar itself you can see the rupee sign there so then uh, you know file sharing we use now the group like you can join the group call at any time in whatsapp even if the call is started so whatsapp is bringing out the small small changes like and the kind of penetration it has it i feel it has the best potential to become super app and what i would like to improve in that is you know like we we, we create our own for groups right like a single person group in whatsapp just to store important messages or your notes i'm pretty sure like you must be doing that instead of that if gives us like say a file management system kind of thing where i can because a lot of docs come right randomly and we upload them and a lot of Uh, like whatsapp uh, like this comes like i'm not talking about a cleaner app but just a better file management in whatsapp itself so that i don't need to go and check my file manager go to whatsapp and search a better you know formatting folder wise so that is one thing i would like to introduce in whatsapp yeah mm-hmm. that's that's interesting i hope you know mark zuckerberg is listening to this um <laughs> so uh, you know so uh, while we were working on on the course uh we came across this one particular myth that you know a product management is only meant for engineers is that true mm-hmm. and uh, how difficult is it for someone with a non uh, you know with a non engineering background to pursue a career in product management okay so answering your first pa like first like is it difficult now a product manager is a very generalized term there are different types of product managers like a product will only won't have like just one product manager there will be a technical pm there will be a design pm there will be a data pm like who takes care of the data there will be a growth pm i would say like a growth any product needs growth right so there will be a, like who is a good marketing guy right i would say that is like a growth growth pm and there are many more categorization but mostly what i consider like for me they are like three major one is like a technical pm who himself was a developer first because that makes sense right like a tech guy taking up like tech stuff he talking with you then another guy he will be a data guy who like all the data analytics he can do he can figure out insights from that and another like a growth and marketing guy who takes who hits directly on the from the front line to the users who goes and talks with the people who generates uh, some insights like by in- interacting with the customers so for for if you're targeting for tech pm it's not that if you're non tech guy you cannot come in but then you need to read about read about some stuff and all that but uh, there are other ways for like you like a general pm like i would say like a, if you want to be a data pm okay you need to get you, you that's easier way for someone who wants like as a product analyst like the path to pm you become like a product analyst then you become an apm and then you become a pm then senior pm so yeah and anyone from any field can get into product management given that you understand that area like the area that if you want to enter into say social media apps you should understand how it works how the engagement rate is calculated or what are the north star metrics for your your like that product if you are going into an fmcg space if you know the space well you can enter into any product and and always tech guys are always there to support you in that you just have to like writing is also very important you just need to like write down your requirement what exactly you want so it's not difficult uh, it's uh, you can get through there are different ways to get into pm like as i said yeah and if you're a good marketing guy you know how to hit on the spot like you know zomato hits or swiggy hits or like but yeah there were some controversies also recently like some uber was like eight missed calls from your mom dad and that's not right way i would also say but yeah uh, so there are different ways and you should find your own fit like what if you got product my mean it's very general Tom, you should find like what kind of work want you want to do as a product manager. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's that's great. I guess that gives a lot of clarity. Hmm. Um. Uh. So, what are the basic skill sets that one needs to get into the product management line or or to get into the product line? So, firstly, I would say this is a general skill set which anyone can pick up. Okay. So, you should be good at least to like with data. like uh, you know like sql is there right sql queries people write like you should understand data like some dashboard stuff how to create dashboard or even excel from excel you create like a pivot table and all that now in mba like excel will be very pre- prevalent right like i come from non excel background little bit so but i have seen people doing like a lot like wow stuff in excel with the data and all that so you should know at least about the or data part because in no matter from which you you will see right which of your feature is working out better which of your feature is not working out or uh, why are your clicks reducing why are daily daily active users reducing so uh, 
you should know like how to go with data that's very like the first thing i would say other than that you should be good at writing like you know writing skills matters a lot like uh, that was the whole reason i started my blog or stuff like I just started writing whatever thoughts come to my mind so if you are a good writer if you can present it clearly right to anyone your thoughts if you can write it down and give them then that's a very important skill it matters like if you are writing say like some product requirement documents like they call it or feature requirement prds or frds if you are writing you should be able to like express it properly so writing data and another one is whichever industry that you are stepping it into it you you should try to understand like how the whole ecosystem works because a financial product manager i am not sure if he can perform the same way in fmcg industry or in luxury industry like that is my opinion people might uh, they might have different opinion but i feel like because you might have said right if people join as a product manager in one year they continue in that like niche only like majority of the people there are people who change niche but then i would say like one niche you should know and then you can continue in that okay okay that, uh, that's that's great that's uh, you know i guess that again gives a lot of clarity um mm-hmm. so you know so can a fresher pursue you mm-hmm. know the course of product management as a career choice and if yes uh, what are the inherent challenges in it yeah like someone won't like unless it's a startup like they won't directly make you a product manager like i'm telling the like truth like practically you should join as a different like there is a apm path or there's a data analyst path product analyst path you can surely join through that path and there are very less barriers to get into that path okay so that's that's easier way to go and to become directly like as a joining as a pm okay like uh, i mean if you know if you have a little bit of previous experience or in some industry like if you know that industry well right then you can directly people can think consider you about uh, like for the product management role the only barrier is that see, product manager role is a lot of people management it's a lot of you know sometimes you might feel it's like enough micro managing or something that, that but if you are like a very fresher right if you directly come out of college without an experience then that is something i feel like we lack sometimes we might hesitate to like just go and poke someone okay yeah, what is this happening what is that so you should you have to be people's person also because you need to understand like a testers view a developers view a marketing guys view or there are different like roles right for building a product you should everyone should come and they should be able to express it to you so that people management skill like people handling skill is very very important in this so because the product owner will come and ask you right like what is happening what are the stats you should be good by giving it when you are reporting it to someone at the same time when someone is reporting it at you so yeah people handling like being people's person will help you a lot in this right right i'm sure the viewers of this episode would be mm. taking down these notes uh, uh also akilesh uh, you know uh, mm. could you throw some light on the importance of a course uh, you know like product management so uh, see uh, i mean uh, uh, like uh, you know there's a guy called dan norman i am not not sure if you know like he is like a pioneer of user experience design and uh, like user experience is a feel like how a person interacts you know like if you if you have a phone but how will you know it's a touch screen phone or a keypad phone obviously with the help of keypad or it's a full screen or where you want to touch so i mean i've read his book actually one like it's called the design of everyday things i would recommend it like whoever will be watching it to read it also so like uh, his book is used as a curriculum also and like i i didn't get a chance like when i was into this product management was not so like mainstream or something say a couple of back years also but now that i see that if like yeah a course might help like building the basic blocks you know like handling different types of data tools or uh, the basic principles of ux design how to conduct surveys what are the what are metrics how to calculate them how what are the conversion rates so you know like um, we can say uh, like uh, okay not needed or some people might say not needed but i feel this uh, this understanding like a basic understanding of basic concepts is very important and a course through that might be helpful in building like giving this blocks like it will it can help you with the, it can provide you the tools and equipment but in the end uh, like you you should know like how to use where like where to use which tool so a course will give you the blocks but you also need to like keep exploring on yourself yeah 
yes that's that's completely correct you know uh, hmm. one has to put in their own efforts to you know to also achieve what they yeah. basically desire so akilesh uh, before we end the interview uh, you know uh, do you want to give any message to our budding students who want to get into product management yeah i would say like first thing easiest way is like you can start writing actually you can do product tear downs or whatever you think uh you observe like like recently i've written something like you know if you guys play wordle wordle is a very trending catching up right now so whenever you get a word which has like repeated alphabets you know there was one word called vivid okay so once you find the correct word in the correct place why would you again place that same word in other place right you will think okay i need to try out maximum words and that was the day many me and my couple of my friends we broke our streak like we used to do that similarly even it goes for product okay so like if one feature you place somewhere and you think okay now this is only the right place i shouldn't place it somewhere but it's not like that you know like when you are filling a form and stuff you have a save button at top also at the bottom also when you scroll down like if you, while filling if you come down you if immediately you can submit or if you can just scroll up and see okay i am just checking through again you find so like these are the things like uh, keep observing stuff that's happening around you try to recollect okay what is this and try to like note it down it's like start writing and read a lot of stuff like the book i recommended like design of everyday things it's a good way to start and uh, and as i said like uh, data is like this right data is oil all the oil is getting very costly now but learn any one data to like properly whichever it be so that you can present it convey it to people yeah that's great akilesh i'm sure the viewers and the and like you know uh, basically the students who are watching this video would have taken down these notes uh thank you for taking out time for this interview i am sure i have also learned a lot of things about like you know about uh, our product management and i'm very sure that the viewers have also learned a lot of things uh so uh, you know so that would be all from our side uh, stay tuned for more thank you